What's up guys, Eric Psychic here and today I've got another PGing spawn for low level mages. The spawn is not quite as good as the spike for experience, but it's got a bunch of other benefits that make it worth hunting. The spawn I'll be showing you today, the Mariana Gargoyle Cave. To get to the spawn, you need to have completed the access to Mariana portion of the Shattered Isles quest. This mission is very easy to do if all you want is access to Mariana and doesn't take more than 15 minutes if you have decent speed and know where to go. Simply head to Eleanor in Liberty Bay, ask her about her ring, Run up to the top of Vandura Mountain from the south side and use a rake on the tree with a parrot. Return the ring to Eleanor. Take her next mission of delivering 200 gold to Charlotta. Deliver the gold. Return to Eleanor one last time and tell her the code PEGLEG and you've got access. Then you can travel to Mariana anytime with Captain Wave Rider southeast of the Liberty Bay Depot by saying PEGLEG. So now I'll list the reasons why the spawn is great. First off, it's safe as hell. The monsters here barely hit you and they're all really slow so you can easily outmaneuver them. I only had to use Xura hunting here and I don't even think I ever hit red. Second, you can complete four tasks hunting here if you're below level 50. Stone golems, tarantulas, gargoyles, and thornback tortoises. That's 27 pawn fur society points and three chances at killing hide all before level 50. That's insane. I would at least take stone golems and thornback tortoises as your first two choices because you can always kill tarantulas and gargoyles at other good spawns. I have a feeling you'll reach level 50 before completing all the tasks though, but as long as you take them before you hit 50, you can complete them at any time after. The third nice thing about this spawn is that there's no level restriction unlike the spike. You can hunt here as long as you wish to. The experience is not bad either. I was getting around 325k per hour on my level 45, and I tried to hunt on my level 100 thinking that the extra speed would increase the experience per hour, but it only added an extra 60k or so. Still. 300k per hour on a noob character and nearly 400k on a level 100 is not terrible experience. The reason that the spawn doesn't beat the spike in experience is because the tile here is very slow and the monsters are spread apart, but there's a ton of floors and rooms so there's no lack of creatures to kill. I basically just circle the top floor, run to the bottom two floors, circle them, then run back to the top. If you want good experience then you aren't going to be able to loot, but there's really no loot in here except pieces of marble rock for the sculpting achievements, turtle shells, and iron ore. That's pretty much it. You can loot more creature products, but your experience will slow down most likely. I recommend being at least level 30 to hunt here because then you can GFB, but you could come here way lower if you wanted to hunt one by one. I did a quick test hunt on my cell found knight and only made around 100k per hour. For supplies, I bring pretty much the same that I would bring to the spike, minus the avalanches. Around 600 GFB and 75 mana potions. Everything in here is weak to fire except the stone golems, but it's not worth carrying avalanches so I just use GFB the entire time. The only drawback to the spawn is apparently it's huge for botting. I had to kill at least three botters just to make this video. It was a huge pain in the ass. But anyways, that's it for this spawn. There's really not much to it. It's not the best, but it's always an alternative if you're looking for a place to get good experience over level 50 or pawn for society points under 50. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time.